California company has developed a unique way to tackle drought conditions. They're turning truckloads of tomatoes into drinking water. Elizabeth Kling gives us a look inside. Truck by truck, they roll in for 90 days straight. More than a million tons of tomatoes from California fields. Usually, they're turned into products like tomato paste for use in ketchup and sauces. But at this facility in Merced County, they're tapping into something else hidden inside, fresh drinking water. Inside these pipes, tomato juice is being transformed into tomato paste. The leftover liquid is sent on to this shipping container where the water making magic unfolds. This is the WHU or the water harvesting unit because that's really what we're doing is harvesting the water from the raw tomato. And there's plenty to harvest. A raw tomato is about 95% water. This unit filters and cleans it to drink. People ask me in the elevator, what do you do? And I say, I grow water. Terry Paul's company, Botanical Water, is behind the technology. We harvest the water that naturally occurs in fruit and vegetables. It's a byproduct. It's thrown away. But what we do is we cleverly catch that evaporative condensate and then we run it through our purification process. Now he's trying to introduce the botanical water process to the rest of the world. California's Ingomar packing is the first to test it out in the U.S. What used to be discarded as wastewater is now cleaned and stored in tanks to be sent to local areas in need. What we're doing here today is a very small drop in the bucket, but for us, it's a way, a step forward, you know, represents forward thinking. The water harvesting units aren't cheap at about a million dollars a piece, but Ingomar says the return on investment is about more than money. What we're hoping for is to expand our footprint here with this technology and hopefully uh, start a trend in you know facilities like ourselves around the world where the, you know this really potential is just untapped right now. Growing the possibilities to provide a precious resource for years to come. And our goal ultimately is to positively impact 100 million of the world's poorest people, the world's most vulnerable people by 2025.